GigaTexas is 82% done, and I'll show you what it's going to look like each week right out through the end. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla Weekend. A quick thanks to the newest Patreon, Paul Menton. At the very cool level, very cool. The site is getting real close to running out of work to do, at least on the outside, and yet the parking lot remains full, telling us just how much work is underway inside. Well, this week, I'm going to go beyond the normal graph and timeline predictions to make some guesses within the spreadsheet about what we can really expect in terms of a 100% completion, since it's not mathematically possible based on the calculations used in the times predicted. We'll get to that in a minute, but let's start with this week's graph and a work update. The site prep climbed up almost a full percentage point, leaving just about 2.5% to go. This shouldn't be a surprise since you can see how little is left to be done. This should be complete in the next few weeks. The foundation increased by the same amount, and some of the footings counted previously that were listed as potentially overcounted now look like that was the correct call. They were counted correctly. There's very little left to be done, and the footings may be done in the next three-ish, four-ish weeks, though I expect more like four. The framing didn't change this week, since the few available footings were still curing, but on Monday we got to see the section has been cleared out, and cranes and fresh steel have been brought in, meaning framing is likely to begin in this area immediately. The site's overall progress ticked up by about the same amount as usual, which was a pleasant surprise, but considering all the new footings and the time-delayed counting of roof and interior sections, it still adds up. The roof ticked up as more final layers were installed, and this is likely undercounted, but the math is just to give it half waiting when it first goes on, and the second half along with the completion of the interior over those 17 weeks that those require. The interior completion had its strongest week ever, by a tiny margin, with an awful lot of walls that were added that we won't start counting until next week. We're getting to the point where we can make some pretty sound assumptions about the actual completion, so as painful as this is, I'm going to show you what the spreadsheet would look like as we get this wrapped up. Please stay tuned for that, but first we need to look at the sitemap for this week, as we always do, and go a through it a week of a week. To understand the sitemap, this is the overall footprint of the main building. The orange is the footings, with the darker orange being heavier footings. The gray is the framing work, with the darker gray indicating roof sections. In blue, you see the finished interior closed off space, with darker blue indicating more floors. Yes, we tracked the floors. So the darker the blue, the more floors that there are. The black lines indicate a firewall or expansion joint, with the heavier black lines indicating a concrete wall. As a reminder, this only counts the main Emerald Building and not any of the other projects on the site since we haven't been able to determine their eventual size. Mad thanks to Jeff Roberts for allowing use of his amazing drone footage. So here it is, and here you go. As of September 27th, Giga Texas, the future birthplace of Yo Cybertruck, is 82% done and will be complete, for lack of a better word, in 526 days on or about December 28th of this very year. I mean, it won't, but that's what the tracker says, and we'll get into why there's a difference in a minute. It's still a mostly two-floor structure, as you can see, with just over 8.6 million square feet framed up, about 802,000 square meters. 
a figure that won't increase until framing resumes in the central corridor, hopefully even by the time this video is published. So let's get into the actual tracker and make some assumptions in real time to see how the graph changes. This should be interesting, and I'm going to see it at the same time as you. So here we are. This is as of now. This is it. This is the live document. So these sections up here, yeah, we might see them this week. We'll maybe see some next week. We'll count them next week. Over here, why don't we count, I don't know, two of those. We'll put one there, one there. Close enough. These guys, sure. Let's put them in. Great. Good enough. Looks good to me. Uh, the big excitement this week we're likely to see is in this section where this will begin. Um, I'm going to say it's going to get all the way to this corner. So let's pop those guys in. And then we'll fix this firewall just to be nice. I think that's reasonable for the roofs. We're going to see some steel in this area. So why don't we put this all to S. Okay. And I think we're going to see some more footings continuing down this here way. We'll just say that many. That many? Well, we'll do a couple more. That's what I think we're going to see this week at most. Let's fix our date. 10, 4. Let's look at our chart. Pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. Need to manually set this. There we go. That's what I think next week is going to look like. That's it. This is next week. Okay, now we need to go a little bonkers and really pull this chart out. Let's pull it all the way out to February. So there we go. That's next week. That's next week. Oh, this is going to be painful. Okay. Now we got all the, uh, some more footings counted. Sure, sure, fine. I think next week we'll count all of them. But up here, what do we got here? We can start putting in some roofs. Yeah, let's put in some roofs. And actually, now that I think about it, the thing is when these go to roofs, what am I doing? They go straight to finished roofs, like these guys. One floor roof coming up. Here we go. I think that many roofs is appropriate. And we'll do a few more. We'll do this many. Sure, the roofs go on quick. Is that good? That's good. So that's the following week. There we go. That's nice and ugly. That's nice and ugly. Here we go. Nice and ugly. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. So 82, 84, 85%. Yeah. And you can see just how much interior speeding up, roof, overall, footings, framing. Boy, this is a lot of work. This is a lot of work. Okay, let's keep going.
Okay, so let's change our date to October 18th. We can count these guys over here. Surely they must be done. We can count these, why not? And I also think these guys will be extending, which will give us just some easy points. There we go. Okay. So that'll give us the artificial impression that things are going real well when, you know, they're not. They're still climbing. They're still climbing. What I'm trying to show is that as these numbers get up to 100, these two numbers will begin slowing down and tapering off. You know what? It's just too much work. It's just too much work. I will finish this next week, so I hope you come back <laughs> next week to see the thing that I told you you'd get this week. It's just too much work. So while it may feel like this tracker is winding down, it just isn't likely. Construction is probably going to begin on buildings on other parts of the site fairly soon and those will be tracked as well. Thanks to those of you who joined the live stream last week, where we talked about some of the weirdest and wildest charts, graphs, and spreadsheets regarding Tesla. We had fun, and each of these gets a little bit better, so thanks to all of you who were able to join. And a heads up that there will be another live stream this coming Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific as well. And if that time is bad for you guys, I don't know, suggest a better time. Uh, is Saturday midday? Uh, Sunday afternoon? Saturday evening? Is there a better time for the live stream? Because I'm flexible, man. You just let me know. Subscribe if you haven't to get notified. Follow me on Twitter at 4K Podcast. And a smack of the thummy thing in either direction if you made it this far. So what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave your thoughts and blind and brilliance in the comments below. And as always, my friends, stay tuned, stay juicy, and I simply cannot wait to hear from you clever robots on the flippity flop. And a quick thank you to my Patreons who get early access, bonus content, an ad free experience, and help keep the channel running for as little as a buck a month. I move this shout out to the end as a thank you to all of you for your generosity and support, which helps me avoid having to pander to YouTube's dreaded and painful algorithm. So thank you all so much.